I'm Warren. I'm Charlie. We're, We're the, the Yoho Ho Joes. And this is our review of In and Out Burger. And Lick. That's right. We're doing two places. Categories? We've got, we've got four categories. We got price, taste, service, and ambience. We're gonna kick it off with In and Out Burger. Uh, yeah, so In and Out Burger. We know it's a change, not usually our our normal fare, but we figured it's really popular. And we want to try it out. We love hamburgers. Uh, so we'll start out talking about the uh, price, or sorry, the uh, food. Taste. 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 You know what? This is a standard hamburger. It was very tall, but small. Yeah, I, when I first got the burger, I actually thought it was pretty small, but size-wise, it, it, it was pretty filling. Um, what it was really lacking, though, was meat. Yeah, it's got two hamburger patties. We got the double-double, which is two pieces of cheese, two pieces of meat. The meat is really thinly sliced, so we didn't really taste it very much. Yeah, mostly lettuce. Um, I mostly got lettuce and onion. Uh, flavor, which and is a right. special sauce, which we think is like relish and Thousand Island and a little bit of ketchup and everything. So the burger was okay. So next we're going to talk about service. Uh, it's interesting because it's a fast food restaurant, so you don't necessarily have a waiter. But we're actually going to go ahead and give uh, service a four. Uh, this place does an amazing amount of volume. Like, uh, there were 18 cars in line. And um, at least 10 people in line behind us. 10 people in line behind us. The parking lot was filled. We uh, we went in there uh, from the time we ordered to the time we got burger. It was like seven minutes. Um, they have 18 people working in the back. They do a lot of volume. And our guy was, was friendly. Mark, he was you really Mark? friendly. He, like, he answered a lot of questions. He made suggestions. Uh, and for a guy that has to sit there and probably deal with 200 customers, he was really positive and upbeat. Very upbeat. We liked him. Uh, Price-wise, uh, came out to $19 for both of us to get full burgers and fries and everything. We got everything animal style with all the extra onions and cheese and added on everything. So, you know, that's going to tack on a couple of bucks. So price-wise, it was pretty reasonable. Pretty Ambience? Kind of standard fast foodie place. Uh, like I kind of like the design, uh, except for the fact that... going for that whole red and white checkered thing, which seems really popular like sort of to throw style. back to the retro hamburger but places. It's really, really bright. Like the super, entire place is super bright. Must medicinal clean, lots of bright lights and everything. So it was a decent burger eating experience. Um, yeah. Somebody wants to go, we'll go with them, but not a place that I would seek out. We know much better places. We love Dan's. Yeah. Uh, I think Waterburger makes a really great hamburger. So, you know, there are better something places to consider. Go. Yeah. So, I think uh, overall score, uh, when we even it, average it out, I think we got a three. Three. Pretty standard. Um, so, uh, next, we're actually going to talk about Lick, which is an ice cream place, which is their gimmick is all locally sourced, organic, brought in fresh ingredients, nothing from any other places. So, this is all made in Austin. But what really differentiates them are the flavors of ice cream that they have. They're really cool and interesting and unique. We saw chocolate orange, we saw curried squash and coconut. Uh, uh, grapefruit and, and champagne marshmallows. Uh, just tons of wacky different flavors. Stuff that you, you wouldn't, wouldn't see anywhere else. Flavor combinations are like, ah, I probably wouldn't want that in ice cream. But then you taste it and you're like, wow, that's really amazing. So uh, we're going to talk about flavor for them. Um, I got a caramel salt lick ice cream and I got the uh, curried squash and coconut. I got the curried squash and coconut and the champagne grapefruit and marshmallow. Uh, they came in waffle bowls. Yeah, we got waffle bowls as yeah, an it option. Was a cone as a bowl. That was cool. Um, decent sized scoops. And honestly, for the cool uniqueness of it, uh, the locally grown and like the overall flavor, like totally a five. Five, yeah. yeah. It was light. It was creamy. It wasn't super rich. It was very, like, this is the kind of ice cream I like. So definitely five. This definitely place five. does it right. Um, price, it's a little bit more expensive than Amy's. Uh, given that that's kind of what you're going there for, is that kind of locally home source, you're going to expect to pay a higher price. Yeah. It wasn't really affordable. It was $10 for two bowls of ice cream and two scoops each. And that was the small. That was the small. So uh, We didn't get the big. We got two scoops and the bowl. The bowl costs a little bit extra, but this is still a small. Yeah, so 10 bucks. we get price of three. Not yeah. amazing. You can expect what you pay for. Uh, uh, ambience. Um, ambience was... No, the, like I like the design of the place. It has cool, like uh, cool color combinations, but it is not a comfortable place. They it's, do not... it's not meant for people to be there. They've got yeah. like a bench on the side of the wall and some stools, and that's it. Like so, you go, you, you go there, you can try screaming, and you leave. It's not a place you meant there. So ambience, the best we can give it is a two. Yeah. It's not a comfortable place to sit in. It's not expected to be. I honestly think this place would do really well if they were on South Congress, like during the summer. Some place that you could go walk up, get your awesome, cool, interesting ice cream, and then walk around down the South Congress area. Oh yeah, maybe not. Maybe not so great on South. Some of the nice bar. benches outside, something yeah. like that. It's right next to a bar. It doesn't. Yeah, no. Um, service. service. 
they did let us sample 10 different ice creams and we were being nice by sharing a spoon uh we could have gone through 20 spoons and they didn't complain about that at all they had a ridiculous number of uh, a number of ice creams that there. we had never heard of yeah like, you gotta so kind of want to try them all so they were clearly like, about Pokemon. that um they were also <laughs> friendly enough uh, they didn't go out of their way they did that we'll give service a three pretty they, standard uh, service they're standard about what they're doing uh not bad. So even though uh, the flavor, like definitely go for the flavor. Like our score is only going to end up being a three when you average it out um, because we kind of gave Ambient a low score. Uh, but you average it out, it came to a three, but definitely check it out because the ice cream is pretty phenomenal. You'll find some fascinating flavors there that you probably will never see anywhere else. And surprisingly, very good. We're going to give this a combined Yoho score of three. Yeah. Uh, one. So, so we'll do in and out first? Uh, we'll do it together because they both came out to be a three. Oh, yeah. So oh. in and out and lick. Okay, one, one two, two, three. three. Yo! Thanks, guys.